Jana. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Girl Meets World premiere. Season 3 is upon us. It has begun, it is happening, it's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs> you guys on Twitter to send me some questions about parts one and two of Girl Meets High School. I personally really, really, really like the premiere, so I'm super excited to answer any questions you guys have. Okay, a lot of people are asking me if I cried. I actually didn't cry, but it did tug at my heartstrings a lot. And I may or may not <laughs> have yelled at my TV a couple of times. More than a couple of times. Would you want to change anything about the storyline? If so, what? That's a really good question. I don't know if this really counts as an answer, but I think I would want the episodes to be longer. With a 22 minute format, there's only so much time, so I feel like if I could change anything about the episode, I would have made it longer, thus changing the storyline and making it more of a build up? Does that make any sense? Does that even count as an answer for this? We're gonna say it counts. What did you think of Lucas telling Riley that she is sometimes too much for him? Okay, okay so here's the thing. I think that Lucas likes Riley. I think he's made that very clear from the beginning. He likes Riley. And I think the reason there is a triangle is because Maya likes him and he doesn't want to change the friendship or come between Riley and Maya. I definitely think he likes Riley. <laughs> I think that in the moment he just lashed out at the person that he cares about because he was just feeling so vulnerable and so lost and so confused in this big school where he couldn't protect his friends anymore. And we know how important protecting his friends is to him. I don't think he meant it. I don't think he was angry at her, but he was taking it out on her because we tend to lash out at the people that we care about. I feel like that was a very, like, therapeutic answer. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just what I think. What do you think of season three so far? So far, I'm really impressed and I'm so, 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 so excited for the rest of the season because I feel like everyone has grown so much as actors and I can just tell that them being in high school is going to make for some really great episodes. So do you think Farkle and Smackle are endgame now? Because before you said Farkle and Riley. Oh, well, here we go. I do think Farkle and Riley are going to end up together. I'm not entirely sure why, I just see that coming. But I do think that Lucas likes Riley and that they will be together at some point. So I feel like what's gonna happen is Lucas and Riley will have a thing and then not have a thing and then she'll go with Farkle and then they'll end up together but I don't think Farkle and Smackle are endgame. I really don't. I love Smackle though and I hope she sticks around and I hope she's not just like kind of here for the ride. Like I really like her character and I want the best for her. Protect Smackle at all costs. I'm CC's number one fan, so the more smackle, the more better things are. More better. The more smackle, the better, is what I was trying to say. What did you think of the seniors? I really like Hercules. I think that's his name. He's played by Luke Benward, and he was referred to as Thor in the episode. I really like his character, and I think he's a good, like, big brother figure to Lucas, and so I hope he sticks around. I think it's cool that they have the seniors and the freshmen, and they show that dynamic. And I'm interested to see if the three seniors that we saw in Girl Meets High School Parts 1 and 2 come back at all. How much do you think the seniors are going to play into the season? Okay, so that piggybacks on my last answer. I don't think they're going to be a main component, but I think they'll come and go and be part of lessons and I don't know, I just I don't feel like they'll be a main part, but I think that they'll just weave into episodes. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> what did you think the funniest part of the episode was? For me personally, I think the funniest part was when Farkle was on the chandelier. You guys remember when Farkle couldn't even climb the rope in gym class? Now he's swinging from chandeliers, they grow up so fast! Also, there was a part with Smackle when she was like talking about stuff and she was going like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even remember what she said, but it was really funny and I liked that part. Were you on Riley's side or Lucas's side? I think I was on Riley's side. I think that they should have stuck together, but I understand Lucas's side. I understand why Lucas lashed out. I understand why there was that divide in the group, but I think that Riley was right. Though if I were in the friendship group, I probably would have been like the Farkle of the group and I probably would have left with Lucas because, I don't know, I don't think I would have trusted those seniors because it just seemed so shady that they were like, stand in the hall, like, <laughs> what? What did you think about the individual groups staying together? So, Lucas and Zay, Maya and Riley, Isadora and Farkle. I think that within any group of friends, there are pairs of best friends. And I think that when things get tough, you tend to lean on your best friend. So, Lucas and Zay, they're best friends, and they sort of lean on each other, and Farkle and Smackle, they lean on each other, and Riley and Maya leaned on each other. I was pretty surprised, I'll admit, with Farkle kind of lashing out at Riley. He didn't really lash out, but he wasn't 
the Farkle that we know. Like, Farkle's very loyal, and he's very caring, and he cares so much about Riley and Maya. And it was just really surprising to me that he went with Lucas A and Spackle. The scene in Topanga's when him and Riley kind of had a fight, I was I was yelling at my screen like it was football, like it was the Super Bowl, like it was the Stanley Cup, like I was just going at it. So I was pretty surprised, but it does make sense that like they broke off into those pairs. That is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for sending in questions. I love answering your questions. I love these interactive Q&A type videos. I think they're so much fun. Tonight is Girl Meets Jessica at 8.30 on Disney Channel. And this is one of those episodes that I'm just really interested in seeing how it works out. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Fish and um, Telltale Tot a little bit, so I'm interested to see how this one goes. So be sure to tune in, even if you watch on the Disney app, tune in tonight on Disney Channel. And please, please, please do not watch illegally on YouTube. There are so many other things to watch on YouTube that aren't illegal, like my channel, the Sakoni Jolies, you know, just like YouTubers, but don't watch episodes legally. Please, gif that, gif that, spread it around, gif it up. I love you all, stay beautiful you people, and good luck on this journey of Girl Meets World Season 3 because I feel like we're all gonna need a little bit of luck. We gotta stick together in our time of need. Bye! Bye, 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 bye! In the comments, let me know what your favorite part of Girl Meets High School was and what your thoughts were to any of these questions. Did anything surprise you? Did anything make you laugh? Did it make you cry? Raise your hand if you are happy that Zay is basically a regular. Me, 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 me. I love Zay. <laughs> and there was that one line that Riley said where she was saying about how she hopes he stops using comedy to cover up his inner turmoil. And I was like, girl, yes, I want some more Zay storyline. So writers, get on that. We want to know more about Zay. And, and more about Lucas, because I feel like we don't know anything. Does he even have parents? Like, we know he calls his dad sir or whatever, but like, what, 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 why haven't we seen his house? Who is he? Who even is Lucas Fryer? I just, I don't know. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. Tell me more. Please show me. Something's familiar about these strangers like me. Strangers like me. <laughs>